Welcome to the Taiwan Monastery. Welcome to day two of the Taiwan Festival. Today is all about the cultural side. There's dancing, there's singing, there's free food being passed around, there's a lot of cultural stuff. And an umbrella, it almost hit your camera. Back at the gambling establishment, which is basically you throw a dart at the board and you try to guess the number you're gonna hit. Now the fun thing about here is the fact that these are all children betting and gambling. So talk about your cultural differences. <laughs> the Western world would have a fit with 10-year-old uh, kids gambling. Even little monk Buddhist kids are, are gambling. That is so crazy. So word of the wise, if you come to this Taiwan festival at any point, make sure uh, you bring the proper foot attire because if it rains, it is going to be absolutely terrible. If you want to buy some socks, you got your socks. If you want to buy some uh, small garments, you got small garments. If you want a beautiful girl, you got a beautiful girl. If you want some random toys, you got random toys. So now we're at the Taoang Monastery, which is the second largest monastery in all of Asia. So you can imagine it's going to be pretty big. So what I find really fascinating about monasteries is just the culture rooted into it and the lifestyle and just how easy, simple, but very intellectual and spiritual that it is. It really brings you down, those of us who live in a very high paced society, to just bring it to the very core level. Very powerful message a very different life than what most of us are accustomed to. You gotta remember the core root of life. Life is simple. We just tend to make it very complicated. So the best part of these monasteries is actually when all the monks get together and they start praying. There's a lot of rhythmic chanting. So just the sound that fills this area is just Awesome. So definitely, you should definitely visit a monastery at some point in your life. It'll, it'll really impact you, I think. So here's the best thing about India, is that no matter where you go, you make great friends. Like Raul. Raul and? Pane. Pane. And they were really cool. We took some selfies together and we're here enjoying this beautiful monastery. And you guys are here deployed with the military, right? Yeah. yeah. So how long are you here for? Uh, two months. Okay, and then you go somewhere else? Yeah. Oh, then you get to travel a lot. Yeah. That's so cool. Exactly. See, join the military, see the world. <laughs> <laughs> All the best to Alex. Yeah. Thank you. So Parati's freaking out the entire monastery with his drone. How are the views? Pretty good. Pretty good? Ooh, that's pretty good. Which means I gotta fly my own. some new friends here uh, checking me out flying a drone <laughs> so everybody likes to watch you fly drones around the world it's uh, it's a very universal thing and what's really cool about it is that you can make a friend while you fly a drone which is not something you usually think about doing in different countries you make friends sometimes as you buy them a cup of coffee or you get together or you speak the language but sometimes the language the te technology uh, transcends language barriers and cultures. Human curiosity and interest is what it's all, ab all about. We're all curious creatures around the world. And I think that's one of the most beautiful things about being human. You always want to know what's happening. If I can do that with a little drone, then uh, you know what? That's what it is. Hi. You see? Look at this Royal Enfield. What a beautiful machine. This is what you want to take for trips and so forth. Are you free three? Ah. Uh -huh. 
They are brave. Bye. So check out the monkeys here near the monastery. You gotta be so careful with these monkeys because uh, they will grab anything that's loose on you. They will bite you, they'll scratch you, monkeys, and if monkeys. there's food, it's even worse. So you gotta be so careful. Look at that, look at that. <gasps> oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god. Alright guys, how was the monastery visit? <gasps> I'm scared. <laughs> I was scared for the monkeys. You got freaked out by the monkeys. Yeah. This, is, this, this monastery is just huge. It's yeah. very impressive. And from the air, as you saw, awesome. For a long day of walking, food time. Mm, look at that. Looks delicious. Mm. Yeah, food in India is one of the highlights. And it's been great almost everywhere we've been. So, can't complain. So check this out. The other night when I arrived in my room, I couldn't see this amazing view. Check it out. Wow. That is pretty awesome. So I'm calling today short because I'm so tired. My body's just wrecked from the ride getting here. I will say my goodbyes now and uh, see you guys for the next video. Is when you enter a monastery, you actually have to take off your shoes before you enter as a sign of respect. Because we have so much dirt in our shoes and it's a pretty clean place. So, it's very yeah. large so dirt and shoes. respect, those are the reasons why you don't wear shoes in a monastery. Yeah, it's like a holy site, temple, you know.